Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a colourful time tunnel like effect where the colour gradients go all the way from a central or a certain central point. I'm just going to start now using the gradient tool. The first thing to do is create the actual gradient for the colour effect. And I'm using Photoshop CC, so I'm just going to go over to the gradient tool, just click there, just click on the gradient, and you've got this initial gradient. The key thing for this time tunnel effect is actually to have transparency at the end. So I'm just going to just put that to zero, and I'm just going to put 100% there, and I'm just going to this is going to be the actual gradient. It's going to be a ring. So I'm just going to drag that to the center and I'm just going to create another one. Set that to zero. Now the key thing, there's where the actual gradient will be in that central bit. I'm just going to drag over the first one of the ones and I'm just going to change the color. I'm just going to bring up the, so just quickly just add in lots of different colors there and I'm just going to quickly do that. This is for the rings. Uh, just randomly select in different positions maybe. Different colors, just all very close together. Uh, just select that one. Okay. One or two more in this quick ring design. And just that one there. Okay, right. So I just quickly save that, new, click OK. Now, I'm actually going to apply it using normal and I'm going to go for the option, the radial ellipse option over there. And I'm going to, of course, I could place it anywhere. So I'm just actually going to apply, apply it to a a new layer that's always the easiest way I always like putting things on new layers so I'm just gonna create the ring and the first thing to do is create the ring the widest it's possible so I'm just gonna go right out just gonna, just gonna create it even further out than that yeah, that's it and the next step just gonna create it a little bit there just going to keep dragging. That wasn't, that wasn't very good. Basically, center point just there. Center point again. And obviously, you have to just basically remember where the central point is. Obviously, you can visually see that. Just, just drag it out. And you get closer and closer. Oh quickly go out there sometimes it's not right sometimes it's just just there just there again and obviously you're getting smaller and smaller as it goes in to this distant point it's very very small rings now okay there you have it you've actually got this zoom effect that goes all the way from a set obviously you've got this little bit over here but uh, i could have actually filled it just by being more accurate at the initial point so you've actually got it as a layer and of course you can then of course move it around obviously you can rotate it anyway so you can put it down the bottom and so on and so on and of course you can even stretch it out if you actually want it to be so you can modify it a little bit See within limits. Just gonna click there. And of course you can actually combine multiple layers. So once obviously it's another layer, so you can actually just say layer, duplicate layer. And obviously again with a bit more accuracy for this, you can actually move it around. And you can extend that as well. And you can use layers as it's a layer, you can actually use different blending modes. So you can actually create unusual color effects as well using this ring design. So anyway, that's a quick way of creating a sort of time tunnel, colorful time tunnel effect. And actually before that, I just remove that one. I'm just gonna go over and you can of course just recolor 
the actual design. You don't have to go with those color schemes. You can actually just recolor the effect as well. So you just change that or desaturate. Click OK. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. That you'll subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel. Always adding new tutorials every couple of days. Thank you very much.